Seward Highway is one of the most beautiful drives in Alaska, but follow it south and today it becomes one of the ugliest. An awful lot of accidents. Sergeant William Welch is dealing with a very destructive accident. He says this blue pickup truck traveling north swerved into the opposite lane, sideswiping a white van and causing a head-on collision with this gray Ford Focus. The two people inside the car are killed. They died on impact or shortly after. The car is so mangled that the victims have to be cut out. Firemen cover the car, hiding the bodies inside from curious onlookers. At this time, there's no indication what happened, why he is, why he crossed over the center line. Uh, we don't know whether he fell asleep, was tired or what, but we'll get to interview him. Traffic backs up as the road closes for more than four hours. We're headed to Sodotna. <laughs> to my son's game. Linda Haddix will wait for more than two hours before thinking about heading back to Anchorage. Her sons were scheduled to start in today's game. Would you like to buy some two dollar chocolate? Young businesswoman Serena Pillow offers sweet deals to the now walking motorists. Everyone wondering what's causing the delay. We heard there was a uh, fata fatality up ahead. Missed football games, frustrating traffic and seemingly no end in sight. Today's collision means two people will no longer be alive to see another day.